Hi, everybody. Welcome to Long Island. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. This has been played out in driveways, dead ends, back alleys, game seven. This is it. I was wondering where else you played. This is it. This is the most important game these guys likely will ever play. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Take it along the wall by Nurse. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot, and that's blocked away. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. New York's got a hold of the puck. Feeds it over to Lee. The Oilers have the puck now. Grabs it in his own end. New York's got the puck along the wall. Takes it from the right side. Oh, he explodes! A quick one here! Look at this! The first goal of the game! Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. New York's got to jump in their step tonight as they strike early. Well, that's going to help as well, James. Now you've got the lead. The guys feel good about themselves, and they can attack with the cushion of a one-goal lead. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nelson. Grabbed along the board by Nurse. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Nice zone entry from the right side. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Nothing doing on that. The Oilers have it now. Handles the puck from the left side. Centering pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Right to the middle. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. New York's got the puck along the boards. Big save. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Slides it quickly to pull up. Takes the feed. And they fail to go tape to tape. Right out in front. Stopped by the goaltender. High quality chance, high quality save. And he sends it across to Yamamoto. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Wow. It's in the back of the net, and we've got ourselves a new game. Always amazes me, James, how one shot changes everything. Now this game is even. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Islanders gain control of it. New York's got a hold of the puck. Through center. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Del Cole. Pumps the puck away. Taken by Mayfield. New York's on the attack. Moves it to Sisikis. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Now over to Mayfield. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. His reflexes on display tonight. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. 
Eberle's playoff production is so impressive. Among the best in the league in goals here in this playoff season. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's all tied up. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Strong defensive effort. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Russell's caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Passes right to the front. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Came up with the save on that play. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes it into the slot. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. Wrestling in close. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Edmonton's goal scorers have given them a one-goal lead here in the first period. I've liked the way that they came out and started this game. Now that they have the one-goal lead, see if they can expand upon it. A chance, and he comes up with it. From one point man to another. Quick feed to Cahoon. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feet. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's a whistle as the officials calling for a penalty here. Now you react. You go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Edmonton's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. When this puck is moved side to side on a five on three, you're going to rotate those penalty killers around. Eventually, you're going to tire them out. I don't mind taking a shot, but it can't be a bad one from the wing. Get it on the net. Dished on over to Neal. Here they come on the attack. Look out! Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Harlemov. Smothered that in close chance. Picked up along the wall by Komarov. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Grabs control of it at the point. Comes up with the stop. Here's a chance behind the net. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Turris. Stopped by the goaltender. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. 
everything about it looked really good. Cutting to the slot. That goes wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Bear. Whoa. He scores! Now, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoffs, and you're able to get on the board. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early, opened up some space up top. Edmonton's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. The Oilers have it against the wall. Barry's got it against the boards. The Islanders look to start the transition game. And he's ridden off the puck. And he can't find his man. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck to Kara. Couldn't complete the play. Heads to the back of the net. And now it's grabbed by Everly. Moves it to Del Cole. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The Islanders take possession of the neutral zone. Manages to hang on. Here's a chance out front. Can't connect. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. With possession along the wall. Pajot's got it from behind his own net. Down Cole's got the puck along the wing. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Larson. Puck picked up by Cahoon. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Boychuk's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Oilers will serve two minutes in the box. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. A criticism of their power play is that they hold the puck, they pass it around a lot, it looks great, but they never shoot it. They'll be trying to get the puck to the net more frequently. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And a successful clearing attempt. New York's got the puck along the wall. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Quick feed to Beauvillier. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides it over with pace to Turris. And now he tries to get it across to Bear. Receives the pass to his teammate. Here's a move in tight. Scores! They deliver big time with a man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. They got out quick on that rush. Now they've got the extra man. And on the power play, they don't miss. The odd man rush goal is in the back of the net. The Islanders counter punch now, narrowing that gap to one still with half the period to go here. Nobody looks comfortable on the ice. A little bit of a helter-skelter game and lots of goals. You know I like that. Letty's got it in the offensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And he was right there. They can't connect. Dishes it to Dreisaitl. And that pass goes awry. The Islanders played along the boards. Here he is in front. And that's blocked. Jabs the puck away. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. New York's got the puck in their own end. Looking to set up offensively. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Puck grabbed by Puglia Yarby. Across the line from center. 
And Pokes scores! Ryan Nugent Hawkins! Goalie gets a little bit of this, almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Hawkins drop and play resumes. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pucks it away in his own end. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it over to Nugent Hopkins. Knocked away. Here's a short pass to Russell. He says, let's get physical on that play. Quick pass to Beauvillier. Denies him in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Loses his balance on the play. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Bailey. Scores! It's like an endless supply of goals. It doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. Somebody scores, you know or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. Oh, from behind the goal line, that thing's got an odor on it. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Islanders played along the wing. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Gets in front of it. There's another stop. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Delayed penalty looming. Couldn't find the intended target. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. I saw the hold, did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people, so it's no surprise the ref got it as well. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Feeds it to Neal from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, what a stop by Varlamov. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Here he is from the slot. Oh, slick work with the glove by Varlamov. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Here in the later stages of this period, it's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Turris wins it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot with the stop. Here's a chance. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Cuts to the paint. Denies him again. Tries to feed it over to Del Cole. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Oilers have it behind the net, and it's kicked away. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Battling for it along the boards. The Oilers fail to capitalize on the power play. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. And now it's over to Bailey. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Islanders have it from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Islanders move it in. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Cassian's picking up steam. Here's a howitzer at the net. Denies him on a slobber. Great start offensively for both teams. Maybe not so much for the goaltenders, but they'll get a chance to recharge here after 20. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items, and you can receive a free team poster.
Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action.
Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. That first period was a whole lot of fun. Let's see what round number two can offer. Here we go. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. New York's probably in a spot that they deserve to be in. They haven't had the puck very much. Of course they're going to be chasing the game. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. And makes the save. Handles the puck. New York's going to play it from the corner. From the slot, fires away. Gets a pad on it to deny him. Way too much congestion blocks that. Wow, they're forechecking hard here, James. All over the puck. Answered the call on that play. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Bears getting two for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. The Islanders send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. They get it out of the defensive end. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice pass. The Islanders take it along the wall. Turns it away. Center down in front. Save made by the goalie. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Lots of time left in this period. Edmonton's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Here's a shot, and makes the save. And now he angles it across to Beauvillier. Moves the puck. Takes a shot. Routine glove stopped by Koskinen. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Edmonton's been the more aggressive team offensively and they continue to lead here in the second. Nelson's won the draw. Takes a shot with the stop. Everly's been able to fight through the tight checking of the playoffs to be among the league leaders in points in this postseason. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Larson. And the puck leaves the zone. New York's gained possession along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Bailey. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Kara. Puck slid down the ice. Into the corner now. Maintains possession. Barlamov's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Letty's used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. Sasikis has it in their own end. Taken by Letty. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Oh, he'll feel that one. Here they come. New York's ready to go on the attack. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Jones. Quick feed to Cahoon. The Islanders have it against the wall. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. A chance from the slot. Stick save and a butte by Koskinen. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Kick save. Oh, he's dialed in tonight. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Cahoon's going to get two for hooking on the play. A uh, step, a step and a half out of position, and you get called reaching out to try to slow your opponent down. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. They move the puck out of harm's way. 
The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Bears lugging the puck. Slides it across to Turris. Edmonton's across the blue line. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. That pass goes a little sideways. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Edmonton's looking to break out. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Gives them nothing in front. Another stop by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck ahead to Nelson. Quick pass to Bailey. Power play has expired. Well, nope, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Snaps it out of the net. Stones him in front. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Moves it to Nelson. Nice poke check. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. Gains the zone on the left wing. Dreisaitl's got the puck. From point blank range. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck grabbed by Letty. And now he moves it to Lee. Look out, a two-on-one. That pass doesn't go. Couldn't complete the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Marcel. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. No one home on that play. New York's got the puck along the wall. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Dreisaitl's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, and it goes just wide. Just wide, way wide, it doesn't matter. It's not on the net. He's got to get that at the goalie. Over the line they come. Here's a chance. Great heads-up play by the defender. Chase Sun's moving the puck through his own zone. Taken by Larson. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cassian. Can't catch up to the pass. Handles the pass in the middle. Finds nothing but air on that shot. What a great read breaking up the pass. Pumps it away here in the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Puck exits the zone. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Chason's taking it from his own end. Directs it on over to Kara. Slides the puck to Cassian. And we've got a two-on-one. Quick feed to Barry. Centering pass. Big time saved by Varlama. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Taken along the wall by Pellick. Sizikas carries the puck in his own zone. From the right side and up the middle. Puck up by Komarov. And now it's grabbed by Jones. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes on over to Turris. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Oh, that's a dangerous chance. We get another look at it. And the goaltender ends up making a good save. Past the halfway mark of this period, Edmonton's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Turris wins it in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to Nurse. Denies him! He got all of it! Barzell's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. The setters will glide into the dot. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Takes the feet at the back end. Pass to Del Cole. New York's got it across the line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Here's an odd man rush. Denies them with the glove by Varlamov.
Nelson's won the faceoff. And now it's over to Beauvillier. Takes the pass. They've got numbers. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Dumps it in. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Grabbed along the board by Russell. Larson stick handling in his own zone. Sends it across the ice. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Russell's got it along the boards. Quick pass to Neal. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Ennis explores his options in the corner. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Scores on the one-timer! Oh, what a shot. Top shelf beats the goaltender, but he's not set. They have possession of the puck, but that's such a bad turnover. I don't think he was able to get out and get himself squared up to the shot. Edmonton's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Scored by number eight, Kyle Torrey. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. New York's got possession here in the offensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Trying to get back on the attack now. Cahoon's got it in the defensive end. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Rocks him on the play. The Islanders take it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. New York's really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even, but that shot off the post won't help them. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Let's it go. And that carries off a stick. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, this has been a real mixed bag for them. Some good, some bad. Here's another opportunity, though. Denied that one. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. New York's got it from behind the net. With some open space at center. And he regains control of the puck. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Into the corner of the attacking area. And they can't connect! And the puck leaves the zone. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Larson. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Islanders don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. New York's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. One minute left. Fails to find the open man. Moves it quickly over to Letty. Cassian's out of the box, and both sides are back to even strength. Well, they're not going to do a much better job than that last penalty kill all night. They've been really efficient killing penalties. Hangs onto the puck. Quick feed to Cassian. 
And now he angles it across to Russell. Takes a shot. Tremendous stop by Varlamov. Sends it quickly to Letty. Moves it around along the half wall. Slides the puck over. They fight for it along the boards. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's locations and prices without paying extra for the first three rounds of the playoffs. This Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by section 144 on the concourse.
opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Oilers continue to lead this wild hockey game. When you score, don't take a deep breath because the other guys are coming right back at you. Lots of time left in this period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. From the slot, wrist shot, big save. Koskinen's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. New York's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they cannot convert trailing early in the third. The Islanders win the faceoff. Shot in front. Laying out on the play. Beautiful defensive effort. Nice zone entry from the left. Stick collapses. Oh, so frustrating. You're in position. You've got the shot. Your stick gives out. Here they are on the attack. Puck picked up by McDavid. Great defensive effort with the stick. Battle along the boards. Nurse is caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Everly's going off for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. New York's got the puck shorthanded. And look at this, a three-on-one. Here he is on the backhand. They score! They were talking this morning about they had noticed some vulnerabilities on that other power play. They thought they could attack it, and they cash in on a shorthanded goal. They really read this odd man rush right. They didn't overmove the puck. They didn't make one extra pass. When it got into the shooting spot, it was delivered into the net. New York's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Nelson's one possession. Pushes it across to Bailey. The Oilers have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Stays with it. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. The Islanders have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Sezik is quick on the draw. Works it across to Dreisaitl. Grips it and rips it, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade-A chance. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that one's broken up. Smart defensive play there. Feeds the puck to Neal. Shot on net, and there's the save. New York's got it along the wall. Edmonton's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and... Maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. And he slides it quickly to Clutterbuck. Nice zone entry on the left side. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Koskinen's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Oilers are in an offensive battle tonight. They lead. Four. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Takes the feed. A little back and four. New York's looking to break out of their own end. 
Here's a short pass to Bailey. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here's a chance. Sends it over. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Scores! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The centermen glide into position. The Oilers win it. Puck grabbed by Nurse. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Flips it up the net. Oh, what a save. He scores! What a goal! Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in ten seconds. This is where you want run time here in hockey, right? This game can't end quick enough. They're getting pounded. Once this puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. Edmonton's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sends a pass over. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Centering pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Looks to pass it to Everly. The Islanders move to the offensive zone. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Sent into the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. No, oh, denies it with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Back to the point it goes. Moves it to Lee. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Koskinen's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Hammers the shot, and that banks off a stick. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Centering pass in front, and that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. The Oilers win the draw. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Taken by Jones. Pokes the puck away. Sends the pass over. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Neal. The Islanders have the puck now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nelson. Keeps hold of the puck. And that one's turned away. Picked up along the wall by Kara. Puck scooped up by Barry. Passes it over to Chason. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Kara. And now he moves it to Cassian. Wrists one. The easy glove save by Varlama. Dead center. Excellent save. McDavid's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Off a stick. New York's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over to Clutterbuck. New York's on the attack. 
And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. And now he moves it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Rocked him in the open ice. Scooped up along the wall by Mayfield. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. The Islanders have been called for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked out on obstruction, Ray. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. If your power play's successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. New York's got it in their own zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Turris. Made that stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Turris has won the face-off. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Oilers are on the attack. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Turris wins it in the dots. New York's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Moves it on over to Mayfield. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. And that's picked off in front. The Oilers have it now. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Pass right on the doorstep. He got all of that one. The Islanders play it along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. Quick pass to Neal. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Pellick's moving it ahead. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Couldn't make that one happen. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. New York's gained possession along the boards. Looks to get the puck over to Mayfield. New York's got it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Mayfield. Makes the save. The Oilers move it ahead. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Picked up along the boards by Cassian. Oh, and another big stop. No, sir. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Edmonton's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Taken along the wall by Barzell. Everly's got the puck in his own zone. Off the left wing and into center. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And now it's grabbed by Barry. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Pinned up along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Grabbed along the boards by Peugeot. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. New York's got the puck against the boards. Manages to hang on. That opportunity is rejected. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Now he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. 
Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Easily turned aside by Koskinen. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. New York's won the draw. Receives the pass. The Islanders have it against the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Through center. And they'll dump it in. New York's got it from behind the net. Angles it over to Nelson. And he loses control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Turris. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Quick feed to Ennis, and they fail to go tape to tape. Rips it from the blue line, turns him away. Barlamov's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Edmonton's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Slides it to Komarov. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Great pass from off the right side. And that one's broken up. New York's ready to go on the attack. And he denied that opportunity. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Here's a short pass to Clutterbuck. And that puck leaves the zone. New York's looking to break out. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Round three in the books. Next up, the Stanley Cup Finals. And that's all she wrote for this series. Impressive win. They look a little exhausted out there, but man, it's off to the cup final now. It's been a long season, a really grueling playoff up to this point, but now they move to the Stanley Cup final. Four wins away from the Stanley Cup. Is there a better tradition than this one that defines the sport? Depends which side of the line you're in. Yeah. But, but really, I mean, it's, a, it's an unbelievable way for the series to end where the winning team and the losing team respect each other's efforts. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sobalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.